اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم و به نستعین صلی الله علی سیدنا و نبینا محمد و آله تاهرین لا سيما بغيه الله الاعظم روحي وارواه العالمين له الفدا ولا حول ولا قوه الا بالله العلي العظيم First of all I would like to express my deep condolence on the occasion of anniversary of uh, the demise of the prophet of Islam and also the martyrdom uh, of his grandson, Imam Hassan Mushtaba, peace be upon him. Uh, in a previous session, uh, I've mentioned a hadith, <coughs> which is called Hadith Sagalain. In me tarikun fikum al-Sagalain, Kitab Allah wa Itrati. Prophet of Islam uh, said, uh, I will leave to uh, great things, to Khalif, Kitab Allah wa Itrati, the Holy Quran, and also Itra, the family of the Prophet of Islam. وَإِن تَمَسَّكْتُمْ فَلَمْ تَزِلُّ عَبَدًا If you refer to the Holy Quran and also the family of the Prophet of Islam, uh, you will never lose way. <coughs> uh, as I have mentioned, that, you know, uh, infallible Imams are uh, the real interpreter of the verses of the Holy Quran. That's why we say in a ziyarah, you know, uh, we address Imam of the time, Assalamu alaikum, Ya Sharik al Quran. The one who, you know, knows the real meaning of the verses of the Holy Quran, you know, uh, is infallible Imam. All infallible Imams know the f final meaning of the verses of the Holy Quran because they have a position of uh, infallibility. Uh, as a, you know, uh, Revaya traditions uh, narrated from some of authentic uh, historian and narrators. Imam Ali, peace be upon him, used to uh, write down the verses of the Holy Quran uh, as soon as they were revealed by Jibreel and then discuss them, discuss them with the Prophet of Islam. It's very important. You know, uh, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, he was a writer of the revelation, and then uh, he discussed with the Prophet of Islam with regard to the verses, you know, uh, which revealed by uh, Jibra'il. That's why, you know, we say that infallible Imams uh, know the verses of the Holy Quran. You know, the Holy Quran, the verses of the Holy Quran uh, have uh, different layers of meaning. Infallible Imams knows all layers of meaning of the verse because he is infallible. You know, like Imam Ali والسلام, and all infallible Imams, you know, they uh, know the revelations. 
So, uh, we are not allowed to give meaning to the you know, divine text. It is our responsibility, our duty to discover the real meaning of divine text. You know, uh, according to some theory, uh, especially, you know, uh, among the Western philosophies, they believe that, you know, uh, for example, there is a text on the table. You know, this text has no meaning, any kind of meaning. Irrespective, irrespective of author or audience. The text, you know, has no meaning. It is audience, you know, to try to give a special meaning to the text. But we believe that, you know, uh, especially in the, you know, the religious text, divine text, we are not allowed to give, you know, uh, a special meaning to the text. We are not allowed to, you know, uh, impose our mind, our, you know, uh, a special interpretation on, on, on the text. Uh, we believe that, especially the Holy Quran or other, you know, divine texts, nobody has right to give meaning, to create meaning, you know, the text. It is our responsibility to discover, you know, a meaning by uh, uh, interpretation or exegesis, you know, on, on the text. Uh, otherwise, you know, that would be a personal interpretation and uh, it is forbidden for all followers of the religion. It is our duty to reach the, you know, full meaning of the verse. To reach, you know, uh, to uh, real meaning of the text. We believe that, you know, behind the text, there is a, there is a consciousness, there is an intention. But we as an audience, as a reader, you know, try or we do our best to reach, you know, the... Uh, Final, you know, layer of meaning. How is it possible, you know, with regard to the verses of the Holy Quran? We are not familiar with the revelation. We have no position of infallibility. Just we, you know, uh, want to refer to our intellect or aql, you know, is not sufficient uh, to. Uh, perceive the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reach, you know, uh, the intention of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why we need <coughs> some personalities as the infallibles, you know, they are successor to Prophet of Islam. They know, you know, the meaning, all layers of meaning of the verses of the Holy Quran when we want to understand the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, when we want to reach the final, you know, meaning of the verses of the Holy Quran, it is our responsibility to refer to the infallible, you know, uh, uh, people like Prophet of Islam and, you know, all ahimma. Uh, as I have mentioned, uh, because you know, uh, Ali ibn Abi Talib used to write down the verses, you know, of the Holy Quran as soon as they, they, they were revealed by Holy Messenger, you know, uh, Jibreel. Uh, so, according, you know, the Hadith, Sagalain, 
It is our religious duty to refer to the Holy Quran and infallible Imams. The Holy Quran and Itrat. Why? Because uh, the, holy, the uh, infallible Imams, they are uh, the real interpreter, you know, of the verses of the Holy Quran. And the Holy Quran is, uh, you know, uh, I can say that as an as uh, ID, you know, as an ID of the, you know, uh, infallible Imams. So, uh, there are some hadiths. Uh, let me mention, it's very briefly, uh, uh, let me, you know, mention and recite some hadiths uh, in a beautiful hadith, you know, we uh, see that authentic hadith, addibu awladakum ala salas. Prophet of Islam and also in funeral Imams, they narrated this hadith, you know. If, uh, Prophet of Islam said this hadith and all infallible Imams, you know, uh, reported this hadith from the Prophet of Islam. Uh, train your children, you know, uh, in three things. Quran. The love of the Prophet of Islam, to have affection, affection with the Prophet of Islam, muhabba. Wa also hubba ahlibaytihi, the love of Ahlul Bayt, the family of the Prophet of Islam. And also recitation of the Holy Quran. Three things. If we want to reach salvation, inshallah, you know, we need we need to do what Prophet of Islam recommended us. You know, Nabawwa, prophethood, Imama, leadership, and also, you know, the Holy Quran, recitation of the Holy Quran. According to some of Hadith, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, on the earth, has four or five uh, sanctuary or sanctity, hurma, haram. We see that Prophet of Islam, you know, is a haram. Imam Hassan al Mushtaba is a haram. All infallible Imams, all Rasul, they are, you know, uh, haram and uh, sanctuary on the earth. Well, in Lahi Azza wa Jal, fi baladihi kham suhuram, the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has five uh, sanctuary on, on, on the earth. Hurmatu Rasulullah, sanctity of Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is haram. He, is a, he has a special you know, position before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To be you know, respected by the people. Hurmatu al Rasul, sanctity of Ahlul Bayt, the family of the Prophet of Islam. Hurmatu Kitab Allah, the sanctity of the Holy Quran, and the fourth, Hurmatu Kaabat Allah, the sanctity of the, you know, uh, Holy uh, House of Kaaba, and then sanctity of you know hur Hurmatul Mu'min, sanctity of you know. Uh, believers, Mu'min. They must, you know, respect all these sanctities. Prophet of Islam, the family 
of the Prophet of Islam, all of Rasul, the holy, you know, was of Kaaba, Kitab Allah, Quran, and then Mu'min, believers. These are sanctities on the earth. You know, uh, and we have to respect all these sanctities. Hadith Sagalain, you know, Prophet of Islam wa wanted to remind us that uh, Prophet of Islam and Etra, his family, and the Holy Quran, you know, uh, they are sanctity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, has some sanctuary, you know, on the earth. We have to refer to the Holy Quran, we have to refer to the, you know, family of the Prophet of Islam. Uh, let me, you know, another hadith which emphasize, you know, on, on the Allah Rasul and also the Holy Quran. Especially, you know, uh, in the epistle of uh, Nahjul Balagha, the special letter uh, in Nahjul Balagha, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, uh, you know, uh, he, when Malik Ashtar was appointed as the, you know, governor of Egypt, unlike the, you know, uh, customary letters of, of uh, appointments, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, started, you know, uh, his famous epistle and khutbah or a special letter to Malik Ashtar by moral and ethical prescription. Amarahu bi taqballah. You know, uh, we expect that Imam Ali uh, you know, ordered about the uh, ethical, about the, you know, being pious and so on. So, uh, he says that Amarahu bi taqballah, he ordered Malik Ashtar to always follow the path of godliness. Malik Ashtar uh, was ordered above, you know, uh, all to be zealous in, in uh, following the commandments and uh, interdictions. Men Farahizi Vesunan as are given by by the Holy Quran. So Imam Ali, there is a you know uh, one sentence or there are two sentences are very beautiful about the Holy Quran, about our religious deity. He would mention in this epistle. La yas'adu ahadun illa bittiba'iha. I repeat. La yas'adu ahadun illa bittiba'iha. Wa la yashgha illa ma juhudiha wa iza'atiha. Let me translate. La yas'adu ahadun illa bittiba'iha. As a general rule, as a general rule, he, you know, would mention. Not only, you know, that would be useful for the Malik Ashtar, but it's a general rule for everybody, for all human beings, for all Muslims. No one will embrace felicity. 
unless he or she follows precisely what is prescribed or recommended to every Muslim in the Holy Quran. No one will embrace felicity unless he or she follows precisely what is prescribed or recommended to every Muslim in the Holy Quran. وَلَا يَشْخَى إِلَّا مَا جُعُودِهَا وَيَزَاعَتْهَا This is another rule, general rule. لَا يَشْخَى إِلَّا مَا جُعُودِهَا وَيَزَاعَتْهَا No one will find himself in a uh, in a wet in a in a wretched state unless he ignores what is commended or recommended in the Holy Quran and loses sight of these treasures. La yas adu ahadun illa bitibaiha bala yashha illa ma jumudha vaizaataha. You know Imam Ali peace be upon him, you know, emphasized on you know, uh, following the Holy Quran, understanding, inshallah, the meaning of the verses of the Holy Quran. Uh, you know, and, and uh, do and act according to divine messages. Imam Zayn al Abidin, peace be upon him, in another hadith that's very beautiful, uh, emphasize on. on, on uh, the philosophy of the creation of human beings. And also, uh, he explained about the philosophy of the prophethood and leadership. Fattagullah ibadallah, after, you know, he uh, advised his followers, after he invited people to be pious, he said, Tafakkaru wa'amalu lima khuliqtum lah. This is the word of Ma'asum in front of the Imams. Think hard about yourself. Tafakkaru wa'amalu lima khuliqtum lah. Tafakkaru think about yourself and about your creation, about, you know, the philosophy of your creation, tafakkaru. Va'amalu lima khuliqtum lah. Your action must be compatible with the philosophy of your creation. What is our philosophy of our creation? What is the philosophy of khilga? You know, we refer to the Holy Quran, you know, and then we get the beautiful, you know, answer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Holy Quran, مَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنِّ وَالْإِنسِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ What does لِيَعْبُدُونَ mean? لِيَعْبُدُونَ means ibadah, or لِيَعْبُدُونَ means عُبُودِيَّةَ because there is a difference between ibadah and ubudiyya. As Allah Tabatabai, you know, he uh, mentioned, there is a difference, completely difference between ibadah and ubudiyya. Ubudiyya means, you know, submission. Obedience, devotion. Obudiyya means, you know, to show our servitude before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our servitude. How is it possible? Through salat, through giving alms, through, you know, fasting, and so on. 
Fasting is, is sort of ibadah. Salat is, is a ibadah, you know? Religious action, all religious action, or ibadah. But, you know, true uh, doing salat, we want to show our deep servitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our pilgrimage, you know, in the Hajj, for example, we want, you know, we do our best to show our devotion, our submission before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's a, a different ibadah, you know, from Ubudiyya. Ma khalaqtu al-jinn wal is ma khalaqtu al-jinn wal is illa liya'budun. What is the philosophy of the creation of jinn and, and human beings? This is obvious. The philosophy of our creation, you know, is, is obodiya, is submission. As Imam Ali, you know, uh, shown his, his servitude to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, as you know and, and we read the history. In a, in a hadith, we, you know, uh, in a divine hadith, hadith Qudsi, in Allah attaqadha Muhammadan abdan ghabla an yattakhidhahu rasoolan, say salavat nudin, Allahumma sallallahu ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, before appointing Muhammad, as his messenger, as his prophet, he honored Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by making him as his servant. We, we, we say, you know, in our tashahud, ashadu anna Muhammad an abduhu wa rasul. First of all, you know, we say that uh, to Allah, Prophet of Islam, as a you know a servant, and then we say, you know, he's a pro he's a prophet, messenger. That's servitude is uh, more important, you know, of ibadah. Sometimes you know we do salat, for example, you know, if we uh, are trying to do ibadah. Without servitude, without obudiya. You know, that's, that's a, a meaningless before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, uh, Imam Ali, Imam Zayul Abidin alayhi sallatu wa salam, in this hadith mentioned, Wa'amalu, wa'amalu, lema khulaqtum lah. Your action must be compatible, compatible with the philosophy of your creation. What is, our, what is the philosophy of our creation? مَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنِّ وَالْإِسْ إِلَّا Our action must be compatible with the philosophy of our creation. Obodeya. We want to show our servitude for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sometimes by doing salat, sometimes by you know, recitation of the Holy Quran, but sometimes by giving arms and so on. And then Imam Zainul Abidin, peace be upon him, says, فَإِنَّ اللَّهُ لَمْ يَخْلُقُمْ أَبَسَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not created you, has not created human beings in a way as a abbas, useless. وَلَمْ يَتْرُكُمْ سُدًا He has not left you to your own device without any guidance, without any, you know, uh, prophet, without any leader, religious leader, imam, no. وَلَمْ يَتْرُكُمْ سُدًا Sudan, he has not left you to your own device, to your own intellect. 
without revelation, without, you know, sending uh, a messenger, without uh, uh, appointing invaluable imams, no. And then he said that in arrafakum nafsah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has introduced himself to you, to all of you. There is no one, there is no one, you know, uh, who does not know about, about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everybody knows Allah. Everybody knows God. Everybody knows Creator. Everybody is trying to, to know his creature, according to some hadiths. Imam Zayn in peace be upon him, you know, insisted us that uh, all of you know uh, Allah, all of you know your creature. Babasa alaykum Rasulah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, sent his, his uh, uh, prophet to you. to show the, you know, a straight path to all of you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed, you know, his, his book, his revelation, you know, to all of you. Fi halaluhu wa haramu wa hujajuhu wa amsaluhu, you will find all the instructions in his uh, book. So uh, we do our best, inshallah, you know, in our life to refer to the Holy Quran and then Ahlul Bayt as Hadith Sagalain, you know, uh, I have mentioned in Nitarikun Fikum Sagalain, Kitab Allah, Vayetrati, after demise of the Prophet of Islam, everybody, every Muslim must, you know, follow infallible Imams. It is our duty to follow Imam Ali, peace be upon him, to follow all infallible Imams, Imam Hassan Mushtaba, alayhi salatu wassalam, Imam Reza, alayhi salatu wassalam, inshallah. Uh, and if we want to find the real way and, you know, a straight path, inshallah, through infallible imams, it, is, it, it would be possible. May Allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala sustain us when we are trying, you know, uh, against satanic desires. We ask the Almighty, uh, Allah uh, grant our prayers and deliver uh, from Satan who is always trying to deflect us from the straight path. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hasten the reappearance of our Imam of the time and include us among his real and sincere companions inshallah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cure all ill brothers and sisters inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh